Stuff can be very uh, powerful. Now, before we start our tutorial, make sure you already um, done your fundamental training and also full stop training. All right. So then we are going to learn the three section stuff will become so much easier. So why is called three section stuff? It's because very obvious. It has three parts. That's why we call three section stuff. Now, in Kung Fu Wushu training, soft weapons are more challenging. So three section stuff is one of the soft weapons. So that's why I say, make sure you already done your fundamental training and also both stuff training, all right? Now, um, with the three section stuff, can be very practical and versatile. You can hold three section stuff like this to strike, for example, bah, right? Or you can hold like this to strike like this. Or sometimes we can use as a whip or stop. You hold like this. Hold the end. Hold the end. Now, hold like this, see? You can strike like this as well. All right. So today in this training session, we are going to start from the very beginning. Okay, very beginning. Gradually help you to build up. All right. Not too difficult. Now we can hold our hold our Sanjie Gui. We call Sanjie Gui in Chinese. Three second stop like this. What are we going to do? The move today mainly is trying to feel the stuff. Okay, we don't do too difficult moves. So start from, from the beginning, we hold like this to feel the stuff. Now, you, I face the direction first. You can stand like this, bend your knees a bit, like you're doing higher horse stance. Okay, now, we do like this, see? Go around like this. To feel the star, to feel the uh, Sanjie Gui. Now, this can be used as a block. Someone trying to stay by you, you can use this as a block. Okay, we just go around. Make sure you can do like this first. Okay? And then what are we gonna do once you get used to it? Once you get used to it, you can speed up. Now, if you can do like this and uh, quite coordinate this move without hitting you, we can move on to the next. The next one is see, we can use this. And we are doing circles vertically right and then we can from here depend on you how many circles you're gonna spin and then circles around you so from here circle around like that circle around and then stretch so from here you stretch okay now be aware of the details I'll face so this way you can see the break point is here. Once you've done the strike, energy release to here, you need to be slowed down. Otherwise, you're gonna be, bah, you get a hit. So this is not good. So make sure you, see, the stop is here. Now what are we gonna do? We'll try again. Slowly, go around, and then around, you go around you and then stretch. Okay, slowly, slow motion. 
go around and reach. Ah, straight. So you got it? Around and reach. Straight. You can hear the breathe point, right? I don't talk. Listen to the breathe point. So, so that's the doing circles vertically and then horizontally bah, straight okay you can try with this move first and then if you're good at it you feel quite a coordinate we can move on to the next so next will be from here I can be back one go around <laughs> Strike and then we can watch this straight back, straight back, turn around, strike. Okay, see the break point is in front. Once you release the break point here, make sure you slow down. Otherwise, you're gonna but you get a hit. Okay, please make sure you when you do this move, do it slowly. First. Now try again. Gradually help you to build up. I go around slowly. One, go around above your head. Two. So it's like you circle, pa, and then you circle above your head, and then pa straight. Okay, this stance you can see like a. Like a ball stance, tip your toes, bend your knee, like this stance. From this way, see? Okay, now again, two more times in slow motion. Go around, slowly, stretch. Again. Straight. Straight. Go that. A bit faster, you can see. All right. Now, we're going to move on to the next. If you're good at it, with this move, this combo, we can move on. Now, same from here, start from the beginning, circle, 